Um, I decided to do this later, but I thought I'd lo uh, do it uh, today. It's not too long ago I, I wrote you uh, about our a Canadian monarch. This is different. I had mentioned uh, uh, this to you before. It is both fiction and non-fiction. Um, it's a very small uh, stage play. Um, the title is one word. It's F astrophe astrophe K question mark. Uh, there are questions at the end, end of it, um, and uh, you have to um, ask them a bit. I'm going to get up and close the window. One second. For a time I lived in Niagara on the Lake area. It's very quiet. It's not quiet here. I'm, I'm not exactly in love with living here, but that's the way it is. Um, as I mentioned, this is a stage play I wrote when I was 20 years of age. Um, I was then going to the University of Toronto, um, uh, Mississauga, uh, and was living in house number 10. They had, uh, just opened new residences, and that's where um, I existed for two and a half years. Um, that first year, I st started the uh, undergraduate uh, newspaper and uh, also was elected as president of the student government. Um, this is after my mother had died from a brain hemorrhage. Uh, when she died from uh, the hemorrhage, uh, she was in her late 40s. I was approximately 20. Uh, I was 20. Um, uh, it's a long history of it. My grandmother died in her 30s and so on. Um, the neurosurgeon did tell me that um, I would probably die in, in my 20s or 30s or 40s. It's frightening, you know, it's one punch, another punch. I may have said, um, mentioned that before, but it's um, that's a really hard thing to figure out. And to get back to the stage plan, there's only one page and a few lines. Um, and it, at the very end, there um, is a question, and I would uh, ask you to think about it. Um, I'm going to read part of this, um, and uh, at the end, uh, there will be the question. Uh, a little more wine. What's that? Mm. Wine is so delicious. Begins contact information. 1975. It's the year I was 20. At uh, University of Toronto. It's Michael, Greg, Michael, Troy. I spelt my name. G R E G G hyphen Michael Troy because my pe father had been transferred to Montreal and I rather admired the uh, way uh, males were named. Uh, the hyphen, I really like it, it pizzazz with it. My name is it sounded rather Germanic, harsh. Um, it was a very stupid um, move to do because I filled out the SIN card. And I got it back as Double G Michael Troy. I had to go through a lot of procedures, like you know, British Columbia birth certificate and so on, to get my real name back established. <coughs> As I mentioned, excuse me, <coughs> Arendelle College University of Toronto. This took place Uni Arendelle College University of Toronto, three three five nine Mississauga Road, Mississauga, Ontario, Townhouse Resident Number Ten. I've also included email done so for this. If there are any problems, um, they can email me. It's Gregory Miller Troy at Yahoo.com. Uh, the title is, as you know, is uh, F astrophe astrophe K question mark. A, a fictional stage play in one uh, word at by Greg G -G hyphen. Uh, Michael Troy, cast of uh, fictional uh, characters, um, there are five. One is uh, Mikey Lavender, his manager of student residences. 
uh, loved and hated by all residents, uh, resident students. I'm the one who hated him. We didn't get along with it at all. Uh, always wore uh, filthy Notre Dame sweatshirts. I think he went across the border uh, and uh, sort of existed at that Notre Dame. Uh, coach of uh, college um, basketball team, taught one class of Philodor Goskioski's uh, The Idiot, um, the college president, uh, the college president, I got to know him, I really got along with him. Uh, he wondered about uh, Mike uh, Lavender's uh, motivation. I've got to tell you, many of these names are changed. Um, it's the way it is. Um, Joanne uh, Schreiber um, uh, was enrolled at fine arts uh, degrees student. Uh, he spends much of his time hidden in his bedroom. He would do that hide in his bedroom uh, where he would masturbate. And that's true, he would masturbate. Uh, to images of naked art models. Curiously, and I think it's curious to me, although some men um, do, I, I personally I don't, um, he is the most sexually excited by extreme large breasts. That poor woman, she goes on forever. Uh, Hunchbum is a nickname. Um, Hunchbum, who is an economics student. Hunchbum suffered a serious nervous breakdown as a result of Johann Schreiber constantly dressing him as hunchbum. You know when you're hunch over your little bum, it's what, what it'll sort, sort of look like. Hunchbum's uh, father hired top-notch uh, lawyers, uh, but to no avail. Uh, hunchbum is now in his room packing his clothes so his father can uh, take him away from um, campus. Uh, we do that to a lot at that uh, ignorant sort of age uh, and do uh, callous, horrible things. And I think it was calling uh, Hunchbum a uh, while. I may have had a contribution to that. It was rather sad. Um, the villain is, is really simple. Just one, one second. The real villain, when I was elected, I, it was a political system that was so, so bizarre. When uh, I won the election, I had to take him, who was the opposite to him, onto mine, and he invited himself into my townhouse, and there he was. I, d I didn't even want to know him. It's hard to explain that, but I did not want him around. Um, anyway, you know, his name, uh, sort of fictitious, uh, is Raimondo Pizzweasel. He kind of was like a weasel. Uh, he was, I believe, uh, studying the social uh, studies. Um, considered extremely narcissistic, of which he was. I mean, like around Trump. And equally arrogant, of which he was, he will not tolerate anything he doesn't morally accept. I really hate people who do that. They, yeah, they are just really highly irritating people. Uh, he doesn't uh, uh, morally accept. Behind <coughs> family doors, Raimondo Pitoizel and his kin and others discuss ways of exterminating those not like them. It's the psychology of a Hitler. It's not kidding. Um, then Sora I came out. Um, I think you can pretty well... T my nose, I have to scratch, it is very because of, you know, it's the reason why it's really itchy until it gets parry. You know. Anyway, Michael uh, Jeffrey Torrey, that's me, or, well, fictional me, uh, and I was studying classical literature, uh, I was a, ca a classical literature student. I uh, established the undergraduate newspaper and was a, an elected president of the undergraduate uh, 
uh, undergraduate government days after uh, this was after my very young mother died from a brain hemorrhage. Um, I also mentioned this not long ago. Uh, this is when her neurosurgeon sur quietly informed me, informed Michael Jeffrey Corey that he would die like his mother. It really is an ugly thing to realize that you're going to be all of this, and then within a short period, it's going to be like that. Uh, overwhelmed by depression, which is almost inevitable, Michael Jeffrey Torrey uh, often staggers home from campus uh, pub, uh, dead drunk. I'll have some wine. Uh, no, I'm not drunk. I was then, though. I was so confused by everything and everyone. Yeah, it's odd, you know. Not with the exception of the principal and um, uh, one academic um, expressed sympathy um, concerning my mother's sudden death. All the others did nothing. Um, my attitude towards people is rather limited. Uh, most are scum. Anyway, time. College year has just begun and the time is now. The synopsis, in short, vanity being one, sexually obsessive two, submissive is, is um, narcissistic four, and the fifth is a serious de depression. Each one are the five characters. Um, setting, second floor of college resident townhouse. At rise, Raymond Pitzweasel is walking behind Michael Jeffrey Torrey. Michael Jeffrey Torrey, intoxicant, is more wine. Glances back at Ramando Pitzweasel and points to his bedroom. And Michael Jeffrey Torrey asks one question, and one question is F, astrophe, astrophe, K, question. Now, how do you think old Ramando Pizzolis would react? He sort of, his body sort of went into a total physical seizure. And it didn't last as long as his testicles, I've got to say, his balls shrunk to the size of electrons and there isn't much smaller. This is how he interpreted things. You know. He rushes into his bedroom, which he did and slunk, slams the door shut. The audience can hear Hunchbum snapping his luggage shut and pacing as he waits for his father to whisk him away. Mikey Lavender, still wearing his soiled Notre Dame sweatshirt while holding Philidor Doskiovsky's uh, the Inuit, I'm sorry, the idiot, uh, bursts through the town house front door. But he doesn't know why. In the back room, gr back room, Johann Schreiber groans. You know that finally reached the joy. So absolutely, totally, and the entire world could hear him release his himself with a sexual release. It ends with blackout underneath N. And then there is a question. And it kind of doesn't sound like much. Do you really think it, it really does? It's a question. Did drunken Michael Jeffrey Torrey deliberately ask Ramando Pizzoweasel 
for immediate sex or sarcastically tell the annoying narcissist to move out of the townhouse and away from his life. Most people could figure that out since I really disliked him. The copyright is C 1975. 220 Pierre Elliott Trudeau Lane by Greg A. Hyphen Michael Troy. This is Saga Ontario. Communications by request. To me, this caused a lot of problems. One of many. He was just one of many. I would later, this, there were so many different characters. He was one of the minor ones. Um, but knowing that he is, um, um, I, first of all, he, he, he hated gay people. Um, I should say that um, uh, that is obviously not in the uh, play itself. Uh, he and his brother would refer to me as a faggot, you know, faggot, uh, and uh, looked at me with a total loathing. Um, I do know if, if, if you do that, when you are behave like that, there is something wrong with you. There is something drastic and um, um, considerable uh, um, 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 problem. I would uh, not hear anything from him, but apparently he had an opinion on me. Um, um, what happened to me uh, as a student uh, newspaper and the editor in chief showed me something that indicated he had responded back to the um, editor, that is, uh, this Petza, Petza Weasel uh, had called me, said essentially that I'm illiterate. Now, if you look at my site, see, you can see that I'm not actually you know, stupid. If anyone um, is someone who hates, God knows. I would later hear that he um, was a psychotherapist. He actually, amazingly, earned a master's degree. How he got it is a mystery to me. Yeah, he should not have been out of elementary school, frankly. Um, worst of all, he ended up to be a psychotherapist over a boys' school. What hatred he would bring with him. What hatred is in him. Um, he would also be planed up, to, I think, to Northwest Territories. Uh, how vulnerable those poor people are uh, to um, characters like him. Um, I, I bring all this up because there are a lot of um, people who hide behind themselves, present themselves as something uh, that they are not. Uh, and um, they always have sort of knives behind their backs and ready to stab you. Or perfa perhaps it's in the back. So I've mentioned this story um, because it is with a character um, th that really annoyed me that he, would, uh, that he was. So I'm letting you think over that question uh, and, uh, and you think about it. So, thank you for listening for this story.